डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू नो अबाउट कोऑर्डिनेट्स ए सेट ऑफ वेल्यूज दैट शो एन एग्जैक्ट पोजीशन इज कोऑर्डिनेट्स इफ वी कंसीडर ए पॉइंट पी इन टू डायमेंशनल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम देन टू फाइंड द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट पी वी हैव टू ड्रॉ टू म्यूचुअली परपेंडिकुलर लाइंस दैट इज गिवन बाय ओ एक्स एंड ओ वाई ओ एक्स इज एक्स एक्सिस एंड ओ वाई इज वाई एक्सिस नाउ टू फाइंड द पोजीशन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट पी we have to move along the x axis and then along y axis then we can find the exact location of this point say the coordinate of this point is x comma y now if we consider this point in the three dimensional coordinate system x y z then at first we have to move along the x axis then along y axis and then along z axis then we can find the exact location of the point p x y z now degree of freedom the degree of freedom of a mechanical system is the minimum number of independent variables without violating constants of the motion required to completely describe its motion if we consider a moving train then the degree of freedom of this moving train is 1 as yes, it moves only along x axis it cannot move along y axis and also it cannot move along z axis since the train moves along its track now if we consider the striker of a carrom board then the striker has two degrees of freedom as yes, the striker of the carrom board can move along x axis as well as y axis if we consider a football in space then it has 3 degrees of freedom as the football can move along x axis along y axis and along z axis so the football has 3 degrees of freedom examples number 1 free particle when a single free particle moves in a plane it has 3 degrees of freedom for example a bird flying in the sky because the bird can move along the x axis y axis as well as z axis now if we consider two birds then we must have two coordinates that is given by x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 then the degree of freedom of two points will be 6 that is 3 into 2 that is for two free particle when a system of two free particles move in space it has 3 into 2 equal to 6 degrees of freedom n free particles when a system of n free particles move in space it has 3n degrees of freedom number 4 a system of n free particles subjected to k constraints has f equal to 3n minus k degrees of freedom number 5 a bit sliding on a wire here number of free particles n equal to 1 number of constants k equal to 2 the first constant is the particle cannot move along y axis and the second constant equal to the particle cannot move along z axis therefore degree of freedom equal to 3n minus k where n equal to 1 and k equal to 2 that is the degree of freedom equal to 1 motion of simple pendulum here number of free particles n equal to 1 number of constants k equal to 2 first constant is length of the string is constant and the second constant is the bob moves in a plane therefore degree of freedom equal to 3n minus k which is equal to 3 into 1 minus 2 that is equal to 1 motion of a double pendulum here number of free particles n equal to 2 number of constants k equal to 4 the first constant is equal to length of the first string is constant second constant is length of the second string is constant 
third constraint is the first bob moves in a plane and the fourth constraint is the second bob also moves in a plane therefore degree of freedom equal to 3n minus k equal to 3 into 2 minus 4 that is equal to 2. Motion of three particles connected by three straight lines. Here number of particles n equal to 3. Number of constraints k equal to 3. Here the first constraint is length between first particle and the second particle is constant. Second constraint is length between the second and third particle is constant. And the third constraint is length between the third and first particle is constant. Therefore, degree of freedom equal to 3n minus k, which is equal to 3 into 3 minus 3, that is equal to 6. Some degrees of freedoms are if number of particle is 1, then degree of freedom is 3. For two particles, degree of freedom is 6. For n particles, degree of freedom is 3n. And when a single particle moves in space, the degree of freedom is 3. When a single particle moves in plane, then the degree of freedom is 2. And when a single particle moves in straight line, then the degree of freedom is 1.